Lawrence Homebrew coming at ya. You know, when you do beer reviews, you get interesting requests. And uh, I recently had someone write me in and said they wanted to see me have a three-way on camera. That's not surprising. I like to have three-ways. I give in to my inner desires every year. I have four three-ways, I'd say, about every year. That's right. And why not? I mean, they're so good. Here's this year's Fort George three-way IPA. <laughs> and I'm giving in to those inner desires, let me tell you. Here it is. This year's is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, this year, they every year what happens is Fort George brings in two other breweries to collaborate and make their new three-way. This year, they brought in uh, uh, their own brewer uh, is Chris Nemlewill. And Chris got to collaborate with Barley Brown's Tyler Brown, which I've met Tyler, great man, out of Baker City, Oregon. And they also brought in Melvin Brewing, uh, Jeremy Toft, and they're out of Alpine, Wyoming. Uh, kind of a fun beer. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about it, give you some details, because this is the fun part for people that brew. It has two-row Pilsner, Crystal 15, and wheat in it, as far as the molds go. And what they do when they brew this one is they enhance it with some gypsum and calcium chloride. And what that does is it decreases the mash pH and improves the hop utilization. A clue for some of you brewers. Now, they also use hops, of course, they use Apollo hops for bittering. They use Simcoe in the mid-range time there. And at the end of the boil, they add in Simcoe, Citra, and Mosaic. Then they double dry hop it, so two times they dry hop, and they use Galaxy, Mosaic, and Citra. And that sounds like one big juicy 7.35% American IPA to me. Yes, that's pushing on deeper level. It's almost a double IPA. But that's not what they're calling it, and we're going to get this into my belly. Nothing like a good three-way. Now that's a beautiful beer. Look how clear that is. It is just golden with a light orange hue to it. That's pretty. A lot of bubbles rose up. Very white head. Let's get the nose. I can already smell it. Woohoo! Oh, baby. That's yummy. Now I want to start off with something a little different. There's a little bit of dankness on this. I like that. So a little bit of dankness, but it's so bright. It's very bright. I'll, I'll tell you, this has probably been out about two weeks now. Very bright. I got some big old mandarin orange on there. That's right, huge mandarin orange. I got some mango, pineapple, just this whole tropical thing, papaya, right off the top. Oh, and then I, and I, now I just got some melon, and I got a little bit of uh, some stone fruit, like a peach, like a fresh peach. Now I'm getting, uh, I'm getting some of the citra and stuff come through and uh, it got that little bit what they call the cattiness, but that citra aroma, very good. There's like a light biscuit malt on it. There's some sweetness on it, a very light caramel to it, but more like that biscuit malt, I think. I bet this dries out a bit. That's just how it's smelling to me. But then you come back in each time you sniff and you get a bit more of that mango and the mandarin orange. Those two seem to be like big pieces of the character on this. Oh, I can't stand it anymore. This smells so good. Cheers. Oh, that's nice. Now, this is not as cold as it could be. It probably should be colder. I'm going to guess at this point it's about 60 uh, or 58 in that range. Uh, this would be better if I'd had it in the 40s to start, but I wanted to go ahead and let all those flavors just kick me in the face. Beautiful job with the malts first, I want to say. I mean, and they did a good job. That change with the mash, lowering the pH, just makes these hops jump out and taste so bright. I need to remember this when I'm brewing, but just really bright flavors in those hops. And it's not overpowering in any direction. It's pretty well balanced, but it's like not a super sweet, I don't know how to describe this. It's a fruit sweet. Maybe that's the best way to say it. You've got this beautiful malt base. And then it's almost as if all the sweetness after that is coming from fruit. And we know it's just the hop flavors with the malts, but it's almost like I'm drinking this beautiful fruit. And then I get a bit, bit of the dankness on there. 
it's not a heavy dankness, but it's definitely present, which also kind of helps balance out the sweetness. But the mango and the orange and orange rind are now really pulling through as dominant players in this, followed by a bit of mango, maybe hints of the pineapple and papaya on there, hints of some stone fruit, again, like I said, peach on it. But I'm getting like some pine and resin flavors coming in. And then those are blended in with that, as they call cattiness, but the that, that citra flavor, which if balanced out properly is really good, and it is in this case. And then again, just like in the nose, a hint of the melon, it's all in there. So I'm gonna take a little bit of time with this and I'll come back with some numbers. So I have to admit, I threw this in the freezer for about five minutes just to chill it down a little further, see what it do, and I, I like the effect. I mean, I do like to start with my IPAs very cold. Yeah, I'm liking the flavors. I'm liking what this did to it. And I, I was really digging on it before. I think it's a great beer. No, no way around it. This, this is just, I think, an excellent, excellent beer. And every time they come out with this, I think it's fabulous. Uh, I think uh, sometimes it's overrated. I think sometimes it's underrated. And this, this year, quite frankly, I think it's kind of underrated. I think it's a beautiful beer. I love the stuff that Barley Brown's put out. And Fort George does some amazing stuff, too. I don't know much about Melvin Brewing. I've tried a few of their things at a beer festival. But... Um, well, I'm digging on it. I think for an IPA, because I think most people are trying to compare this to a double IPA, and it's not. I mean, it's close, but it's it's not. It's an IPA. And as an IPA, this is just one kick-ass three-way IPA beer. What can I say? So I'm going to give this as an IPA a 96. It's fabulous. Now, mind you, it's probably two or three weeks old which is also wonderful. Then overall, I will come down a little bit. I'm gonna settle in at a 93. It's, it's still a wonderful, wonderful beer. Uh, but you know, that's more to do with the fact that, I mean, I do love my big stouts and things, but this is one killer one. This is one you really should get your hands on. Here it is again. It's one, you can't forget the name. It's Three Way IPA. Fort George brews it, collaboration this year with Barley Browns and Melvin Brewing. This is one fabulous beer. I think you should you should get one if you can. Grab one. This is Kevin at Clements Homebrew saying, life's too short to drink cheap beer. And I'll see you on the next beer review. I'm going on vacation. Woohoo!